Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, we'll be doing a head-to-head -head graphics card comparison between the new Asus GTX 950 Strix versus the R7 370 from MSI, which came out pretty recently as well. But if you're in the market for a budget-oriented GPUs for a uh, gaming PC that you don't want to completely break the bank on, this is pretty much going to get you the best bang for the dollar under that $200 mark. So if you're interested in seeing how these two compare against each other, let's find out and see which one comes out on top in terms of gaming performance. Now the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the core specifications on both of these two GPUs. Taking a look at the core clock frequency, our Asus uh, GTX 950 is actually slightly overclocked from the factory to around 1140 megahertz versus our R7 370 from MSI is also factory overclocked to about 1150 megahertz. Now we can obviously overclock both of these GPUs to get a little bit better performance but we're going to stick with the factory settings to keep things as simple as possible. In terms of shader units, you have about 700 168 CUDA cores on our GTX 950 versus about 1,024 stream processors on our 370. In terms of the uh, memory performance, the GTX 950 is clocked at around 1653 megahertz in terms of its memory clock versus 1500 megahertz on our 370 from the factory. Now, in terms of the uh, bandwidth of our memory bus, it is larger on the MSI. It's about 256 bit versus about 128 bit on the GTX 950. Uh, Additionally, in terms of the memory size itself, they're both identical at around uh, two gigabytes of uh, GGDR5 memory. And in terms of the I.O., they're both uh, pretty similar. They both have dual link DVI connections, a DisplayPort 1.2 connections. The only exception is the uh, GTX 950 has HDMI 2.0 versus 1.4 protocol on the 370. So basically on the NVIDIA card, you can use the HDMI cable to do full 4K resolution at 60 hertz refresh rate. Unfortunately, you're going to have to use the display port connection on the uh, AMD card in order to do that because it doesn't have to have HDMI 2.0. Now in terms of the cooling performance, both these cards are fairly similar. Uh, if you overclock them, you're not going to get really an advantage from one card over the other. Additionally, both cards have the ability to actually turn off the fans actively when not in heavy load use. So that's excellent if you want a pretty quiet gaming rig, especially if you do a lot of casual gaming. And uh, generally speaking, when it comes to the power consumption, uh, both are again quite similar with the exception that on full load the GTX 950 is a little bit more efficient playing Far Cry 3 for about half an hour so that's the average uh, power consumption versus about 241 watts on our R7 370 so not a huge difference in terms of most of those things but uh, looks like in some areas the GTX 950 has a slight edge up especially when it comes to power consumption. Now finally let's get into our gaming benchmark results now in terms of the uh, gaming rig I use my 5820k rig which has been overclocked to about 4 gigahertz. We're using 64 gigs of a DDR4 and it's based around the X99 motherboard platform from MSI. And to keep things as simple and straightforward as possible, we're just going to be taking a look at my 1920x1080p results. Now again, most of these uh, cards are capable of playing uh, quad HD resolutions, perhaps even 4K, but again, most people are going to be sticking to full HD uh, resolutions, especially at this price point. But uh, let's actually get into all of the games and see which card comes out on top.
Now, as you generally saw from all the results over there, in pretty much every circumstance, the GTX 950 is the faster GPU compared to the R7 370, but not by a huge margin. In some games, such as Shadow of Mordor, the difference is pretty much negligible. At other games, there is a more a significant difference, certainly when you take a look at our results from Crisis 3 and Grand Theft Auto, and even the Witcher series, where there is a noticeable difference between the two. In terms of the playable frame rates, both are going to be fantastic for playing most of your uh, gaming titles that are available right now at a pretty high detail settings at full HD resolution. So they're both fantastic in terms of that. But if you do want a little bit more in terms of gaming performance, looks like at this state of the game, the GTX 950 is the clear winner. But definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Perhaps AMD will do some driver updates to optimize some of these games even further. Because again, both of these graphics cards are fairly new at this vantage point when I uh, did all my benchmarking. So the future could change but at this point the GTX 950 is the faster graphics card for under that $180, $170 mark but again if you do find a great deal on an R7 370 definitely go for it because if you don't need a couple of extra frames per second here and there and you could save a couple of bucks uh, there's definitely nothing wrong with the MSI card that we tested out and if you take a look at the description down below you'll find the direct Amazon links to both of these products and if you ever get anything through those links whether that be the product itself or anything give us a little bit of incentive doesn't cost you anything extra but importantly makes all this stuff possible trust me it takes a lot of effort and time and money to bring out videos like this on a consistent basis but we really love to thank you for your support and uh, thank you for using our amazon links it really does help us out tremendously but really other than that guys that's really it thanks again for watching we'll see you later take care